morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to a sunny but cold day at Utopia Farms. Arnie just phoned me, hurrying me up from the house because he has a problem in the barn. Well, he didn't say a problem, but if he calls me, there's usually a problem. So let's go inside and see what's happening in there today. Okay, I'm in the barn. I don't see him. He said to come back here. Okay, he's rolling out hay. That doesn't look like a problem. I don't see a problem. We're all wondering what the problem is. What? We're all wondering what the problem is. Wait, you actually put that on YouTube? That's right. When I get a call to hurry up out of the house, it usually means there's I, an issue. Actually, then, then it's going to read the spread. Didn't tell you to hurry up and get out of the house. I said, when you come to the barn, before you mix milk, see. That's right. That's not normal. So what's the, what's the issue? Oh, Tammy has a quarter that's full of milk and that's enough to do. Cammy, you mean? Yeah. Really, Ernie? You want to use it? Yeah. For what? You're thirsty? Hey, being a this morning, huh? Someone has to be. Cammie's got to go out today <coughs> because her lamb's tagged, so we're going to do that. <coughs> but before that, apparently this lamb's been <coughs> sucking on one side only, which means the other side's kind of engorged, so we're going to just milk her out into a bottle and I got that guy in the other pen who you can hear him crying he wants some milk so we'll give him Cammy's milk and we'll get her out of the jug finally so we got her milked out got a whole bottle off her one half um, that's the problem with having a single sometimes they'll get to be one-sided they'll be so used to sucking off one side in the beginning, they don't figure out to go to the other side. But we're going to let Cammie and her lamb out. Come on. You can go. Come on, you can come on out. Here, Lammy. We'll feed this guy. Hi, Lammy. Would you like, would you like Cammie's milk? Yeah, she has good milk. Okay. These are the two twins from Guinevere. Hi, Gwenny. How your lammies doing? Cammie's in here with her little girl. And there's the two Hellions. Cammie's, Cammie's sticking right with her lamb. She doesn't seem to be hitting other lambs, which is nice. Looks like we got a parcel. I ordered clipper blades for Arnie's clippers, so I'm assuming that's what that is. And these guys are out of hay again. So I think we're gonna be feeding these dudes. Hi, big guys. Hi, Ferdinand. Come on over, gimme. Such pretty boys. Oh, is that cold out here? So we're feeding the rams their bales of hay now. We've got them eating at the trough first. Because people who feed brown bales by dropping them in a feeder. It's best to have a distraction like feeding some grain somewhere to the sheep before you put the bales in because otherwise they cluster around where you're trying to put the bale. will stick their head in and it's very common that uh, sheep will get crushed that way and killed by a bale being dropped on their head. Now 
Now they're finished eating. They're going to go over and get their... Hey, you guys, no battling. Come on. Hey, 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 hey! Why would you do that? Ben, Max. Hey, stop it, you two. This is the barn with the jumping happy mums. All waiting to get fed. But first we're gonna go over here and feed the bottle babies. Should be nice in this barn today because that sun is going to shine in here. Hi, buddies! Today, Chewy came up to say hello. Hi, Chewy. Oh, I swear, every time I turn on the camera, they go away. Chewy, come back. Chewy. She came to say hello. It's okay. Are you gonna come back? Are you gonna say hello instead? Hi. You're gonna get sheared in a few days. Well, in a few weeks. March 27th. Someone was talking about maybe doing a live stream. I have no idea how to do that. Um, but I could always try on uh, the afternoon, after lunch maybe. But regardless, I will have a regular video, of course, of shearing. Would you like to have a shearing? Only if it's warmer, right? Only if it's a little warmer. Yeah. You're a good girl, I can see that. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're not a purebred though. That means you'd be technically for sale. Seems like all my favorites are, are not purebreds. <laughs> yes, you're lovely. Now this is funny because I was saying all my favorites tend to turn out to be crosses or grades, which means they're not registerable. And I thought, I will mark you down as a keeper. And I checked the number on her back and it's 42. So that's Chris's mom. And that's what I mean about uh, friendliness being genetic because she's like this and Chris is the biggest suck ever and he is in our keeper group for those fall ram lambs. You're very pretty. What's that say? Oh, but someone's standing at the back. So that's a hundred air cross. Okay. All the little ones are all the little ones are most going outside. <laughs> Well, 100 is straight across, so that's easy for me to see. So this is how we let our sheep self-weigh themselves. If we want to just do a random sampling to see how much they're coming in at, we just put it, the scale in the doorway, and they just all walk through it. And it gives us a ballpark of where they're at. And these guys seem to be running around the 60-pound mark. See, he's 80, 75. Well, 70, yeah, 70. Come on, you guys. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice one, though.
he's the big uh, looks like well there's two in there now so it looked like 60 pounds didn't it or 70 those those bigger guys are all about that same weight 65. Which is about right, because they're 60 days, right? Well, or less. So at a pound a day, which would be a lot for a dorset, anyone over 60 pounds is doing really good. Like that guy is 70, right? And he's, he's not as tall, but he obviously is carrying more weight. But what what number was on his back? Okay, so January. Yeah, but still, it's only 60 days. That's why. They are at 100 days. They're going to be 100 pounds. They they still got like a month and a half to go. Good sammies. But you want them around 50 to 60, 50 to 70 pounds right now to be normal. You're just a little less than normal, honey. So these sheep have to be kept for two more months yet. Well, at least a month. Here's a big guy coming through here. Well, that one behind, that 14. So you see that's just shy of 60 pounds and the number on the back of that one. Well, everyone in here is from January. We know that. Because the other bar started with the Februarys. So, and it's... What is it now? Oh, middle of March. <laughs> this way they... It's a lot easier to run the sheep through because we don't set up shoots. They want to go outside oh. anyway. And it... It's about that fall part figure. Once you get that, you know where they're all at. Put a Suffolk in here. He's just just over 80 pounds, depending where he stands on the scale. <laughs> He's 24. We're out for evening chores right now. We stopped filming as those two rams earlier were fighting like crazy. I don't know, someone must have eaten someone else's piece of corn or something. They don't usually fight this group, but uh, one of the Dorsets and one of the Suffolks really got into it, and we just left them. There wasn't too much we could do, so for evening chores, we <laughs> weren't sure if we were going to find somebody down or not, but it looks like they've all gotten over it. Maybe someone's trying to <laughs> squish in there, but nobody wants to share. But everybody seems okay. Um, the two that we're fighting have bloody heads and probably have headaches, but they're living. You wonder how if they, when they hit each other so hard and get that good run that uh, they don't kill each other. But. They seem okay, so that's okay. Hey, we're in to feed. The little guy is bottle in here, and the hellions got loose. <laughs> See how easily they've learned to hop into a feeder. You guys, your little hellions. Mom was a little upset because she wanted them to nurse, and they were running around the barn again. Hi, buddy. Hi. Would you like your milk? So you can see uh, the white lambs there. Oh, mom.
<laughs> she pulled up, pushed the little guy, but uh, they're only nursing off that one side. And see, they, oh, and I guess that side's done now. She didn't let the other nurse. But these guys have to take turns. Hi, I think you're Cammie's lamb. Where's Cammie? You're doing a good job, buddy. I think you're almost done. That's it, bud. Good job, honey. Yeah, you did a really good job. You did a really, really good job. Yeah, you did. That was clever. You drank the whole bottle. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, and those hellions, they're back in the feeder. These guys are, white ones are a bad influence on the others. Well, we thought we were done lambing for a while, but I guess someone just lambed. While we were out getting groceries, so I'm just getting her a water pail. More of a surprise, it was a white one. <laughs> Didn't expect that at all. But it's a mom who's run, in, run off. So we'll see who this is, because I didn't suspect any white ones were close. Even experienced shepherds can miss something like this, I guess. Oh, it's the one we were looking at the other day with the lily face. Oh, mommy. I saw that mark on her back. I was just talking about that one the other day, and I thought she was one who lost her lambs. That's why she has a mark on her back. But, but obviously not. Hi. You guys are lovely. You know what? I'm going to get some scissors and trim that off too. She's got a little bit too much wool there. And I just bought some new scissors. So I'm going to go to the house and get some scissors. You guys are unexpected and lovely. Now Arnie's going to dip them with iodine. We need to get some more. We were just in town today, but I guess he forgot. The only advantage of having white sheep. What's that? They might not grow as fast, but these plants have already been sucking. You think so? Yeah. They're full of milk. Good lammies. But I am gonna get I'm gonna get the scissors and trim around look at the back end of her. Oh mommy, what does she have? Boy girl? Yeah. A girl and a boy. Another investment. Boy and a girl? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Big one's a boy. And does she have milk? Yeah. Well I didn't check, but looks like she has milk. Well you hands are full. So I just wrote the number on her back. She's our 195th you to lamb. That boy actually, real right now, right off the bat, and it's very early, but already you can see the width of him all the way through. The ewe lamb's nice too, but the ram lamb is way more impressive. Keep an eye on him. Now I'm gonna, she's a registered Dorset. She's an H here. This is probably her second lambing, but I'll check her history in a second. So another thing we've changed is instead of feeding these bottle babies in the dark, because yesterday I went out to feed them and everybody was asleep basically, I decided to feed them at supper time. And 
and they'll be fine until morning. And here's that little guy. Um, I would have put a ring on his tail, but it must have broken off somehow. But that's what a Suffolk tail would look like if it didn't get docked. It's kind of got a kind of got a curl at the end of it. Um, this when some of them we used to not dock all the ram tails, and some of them got like really really long like lion tails. His isn't too bad, but well, now that the lambs are eating creep feed, they're definitely not eating as much. Luther only took half a bottle. Looney, you don't take any bottle, and you're in great condition. Mommy had a lot of wool on her face, so her bangs were going in her eyes, so I just cut her bangs off. Can you show us your new face? Come on, show it to us. Anyway, she was also pretty woolly around the udder, so I just quickly trimmed it off so the lambs can easily get at a rudder on both sides without sucking on dirty wool tags. And there she is now. See her face is a little different now. We can see her eyes. She can see the lambs. And she's good to go. Well, I think we're going to call that a day. Arnie's gone to town to pick up a pizza. Yay, no cooking. And I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to like us or give us a comment. We love hearing from you guys. And I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.